fucking Jersey during this pandemic. So he traveled three hours just to give y'all a fucking great set. Are you really ready for this next comedian? Yeah. Give it up for the one, the only, the Mr. Funny, John B. Croft. Okay, okay. All right, so it's, all right. Been thinking about this 10 minutes for like 12 hours. <laughs> it's happening right now. Okay. You can do it. So, is no one gonna talk about the haunted lampshade? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time here. Right? <laughs> it looks freaky, man. It just keeps going, it's like an energizer. Does it take energizer? How does that work? Right? Um, I want to get some stuff out of the way. I know I look like Lieutenant Dan after he lost his leg. <laughs> I'm walking just fine, thank you. I know my hair looks like it was rescued from a jungle that hasn't had human contact in like a decade. I use Pantene. So. I'm a child of the 90s. I have a couple, you know, friendly faces here. I'm used to performing for older folks, younger folks. Old, younger folks tend to get my jokes more, but it's just, I don't know, like, um, probably because I just talk about cartoons and acid too much, but, uh, I, uh, I remember a cartoon kangaroo selling me cookies and frosting like it was a regular treat. You could just have it any time. It was a skateboarding cartoon kangaroo, and they're dunkaroos. It was cookies and frosting. I don't know, it was strange times, like the Capri Sun commercial, like you'd sip the fruit pouch, right? The, the kids would all have some of the fruit pouch, and they'd turn into liquid mercury, and they would just shoot through the air in the nearest skate park, and the mom's smiling and waving, it's like, how do you turn them, they just liquefied in front of your face, like you gotta, you gotta do something about this, man, you can't be smiling and waving, you gotta call the police, like, I'm, how do you turn them, do you give them more Capri Sun? Like, I just, I don't know. Something else from the 90s was uh, Pokemon. Pokemon, I pronounced that properly. Some of Pokemon, like no, Pokemon, okay? And the main game mechanic of it was animal abuse, okay? Because they would go out to the woods and they would steal all these Pokemon that are playing together, having a good time in the woods, Pika Pika, and then they throw a Pokeball after beating the shit out of it and they steal it and then they make it fight for the, your enjoyment. That's dog fighting, guys. Like, dog fighting for children, you know? Mystical dog fighting for children. They evolve and stuff. Um, <laughs> I also like the Rugrats a lot from the 90s. Nothing would have happened in that show if Tommy Pickles wasn't just like, fuck the police. I swear to God, the mom would be like, no, Tommy, stay here in the playpen. And he'd be like, fuck that, pull up screwdriver. Knock the thing out, just go on having baby adventures. I liked how they mispronounced all the words. That was cute. I don't know. They did all growed up. It's like, stop it. No. Now they're awkward and teenage and angsty. I don't like it. I liked them when they didn't want sponsibilities. <laughs> I think it's still freaking me out. Oh my god. So I was tripping the other day and I fell. <laughs> I told that joke at a church one time. I think they just thought I was clumsy. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. I asked them to pray for me, and that got the biggest laugh of the night. So. I am a godless heathen. Let's get it. <laughs> so, a lot of people lost their jobs with this shit. I'm not trying to bring anybody down. But is anyone on unemployment right now? Yeah. How great was that shit for a while? <laughs> Only in this country, it's like, work hard and you'll do great. Well, not right now. There's a pandemic. You can work less hard and make more. I'm like, I don't know. Whatever. Just, just stop riding, please. Uh, like, just, give us more, just give us more money and we'll stop riding. I feel like it would work. But you can't just keep printing money because... I, I don't know. I've tried it before. Like, when people go tell you to go make some money, they don't mean in your basement. They, they mean the Secret Service is very angry with me. And um, yeah, they're not just involved with the president shit, too. If you counterfeit, the Secret Service will show up and be like, hey. And they won't be happy. <sighs> I feel like all my old co workers should have been porn stars because they all tried to fuck me like it was their job. <laughs> Have you ever been smoking a cigarette outside of your job and you think to yourself, man, I really gotta quit. So you turn around and you tell your boss to go fuck himself. 
Oh my god. I like my male porn stars the way I like Ichabod Crane without a physical head. I don't want to see what's going Just That shit was creepy when we were like six years old. He was like hiding his head under a pumpkin. That was terrifying, man. Remember the elementary school reading lists? We learned about Sleepy Hollow. So you're gonna get spooky. It's near spooky time hours. Real skeleton hours. Wait, you guys ever, you guys like horror movies? Yeah? I love horror movies. Because I like people getting stabbed in the face. That's why I used to like American Horror Story, but then they made it about witches and outfits. So now, I, like, I like horror movies because I feel like I would survive horror movies. Like I've watched Nightmare on Elm Street. All my dreams are dead. So Freddy would try to find me and he'd just see black. He'd be like, lighten up, kid. I would survive Friday the 13th, because Jason only kills kids that are like skinny dipping, having sex, partying, you know, having a good time. I can't remember the last time I did any of that shit. So, yeah. I would survive Alien, because there's no way I'm qualified to be an astronaut. So I'd be at home, on Earth, very safe. They'd all be getting killed by the... I didn't do anything last summer. Like, I'm fine. Like, I know what you did last summer. Jerk off? Did you see that? Well, I didn't know that was... Okay, I'll stop. You guys ever kill anybody? No? Yeah, just to, like, see the life drain from their eyes, strangling, like, oh. It's okay, I'm not a cop. Look at me. I won't get any of you in trouble if you tell me. I killed 20 people today. I was playing Call of Duty. I got a sweet kill streak. I nuked everybody. That's 20 kills right there. It doesn't feel like a lot, but man, it happens quickly. I, uh, I haven't actually killed anybody. I'd like to, sometimes, when I'm driving through New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. There's a place called Bayonne in New Jersey. Oh Never God. go there. Never go there. One time I got out of my car to go do a show in Bayonne. And I just, the first thought I had was like, wow, I wonder if the dogs around here smoke cigarettes too. <laughs> this is the first thing that, yeah. Uh, this is a, a controversial take I might have. I don't know how you feel about it, but I think Lady Gaga makes music for people that like clothes. I really do. If you look at the music videos, she is fashion forward, man. The music behind, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That lamp's still freaking me out. I'm not ready for this haunted mansion, dude. Like, it's just... <laughs> It just keeps going, and Jesus Christ, that is a poltergeist in that lamp. Where are you guys from? No, I'm just kidding. You're from around here, right? Like, wait, no, wait. Uh, who's married here? No, I'm just kidding. No one cares. I just ruined crowd work for everybody. So, <laughs> does anyone have a birthday coming up? Does anyone have an anniversary coming up? I just need something. I do, I'm. Just... <laughs> no, please don't, because we're here to tell jokes. So. Fuck. I think cocaine is a great drug. Have you guys ever done cocaine? Like, so much cocaine that you wake up in the morning with, like, a direction in life? <laughs> like, a couple job interviews, getting back to you, you know, apartment's clean, you can't stop bleeding from your nose. You know, it's, everything's going great. Like, people say they're scared to try acid, but I think it's a very welcoming drug, because take it, and then it makes everything wave at you for six hours. So anywhere you go, you're, hey, you know... Hey. Yeah, like you're fucking swimming. Just keep swimming. Sometimes stuff gets wavy on me, and I didn't even take anything. It's just... It stopped. It stopped. It stopped. Look at the lamp. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! We gotta go. Yeah. Shit's gonna get real. Who has a Ouija board? I need to talk to them. I just want to talk. It's gonna be okay, just enjoy the comedy show. Enjoy the comedy show. This is a sweet room. I feel like this is someone's basement, but upstairs. It's very nice. I feel like this could be like a man cave, but it's more of a man loft, you know? Like, I, you guys ever been to a Sheets? That Sheets is amazing, dude. I don't know. <laughs> it, does it ever make you Sheets? I don't know. I had a burger, I bought it, I haven't eaten it yet because I've been smoking cigarettes this whole time, I'm nervous about this shit. So, I'm just gonna let y'all get back to whoever else is on the light up. It's a beautiful show, it's beautiful people. My name is John B. Croft, I'm from New Jersey, don't take too much acid. Thank you. Hey.